Hey everybody, what is going on? Nick Bunnen here, and at the moment I'm fortunate enough to have four computers in my room, ranging from about $900 to over $6,000. I promise you guys this is not a weird flex or anything, we're actually going to do some testing today. We're going to go through the parts, but the one on the left is my main gaming computer, which is going to be PC number one, and the one on the right is my old gaming PC, that's now my streaming PC, and that's going to be PC number two. PC number three is what's going to be powering Music Monday, this is where I'll be making beats, but but it's still pretty decent for gaming. And finally, PC number four is kind of my backup PC in case anything ever happens to my gaming or my streaming PC. None of the computers or computer parts are sponsored in this video, but we did just get our first sponsor. I'm happy to announce that we have partnered up with Eneba.com. They have over 8,000 digital products from games to software, 24 seven live support. So if you buy something and you have an issue, they're right there. Just as an example, if you go to buy PUBG from Steam, it's $29.99. If you go to buy PUBG from Eneba, it's $12. And if you use code Nick, you get 3% off whatever you're buying on top of the discounted price. PC, Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo, gift cards, game points, they have a bunch of everything and upcoming deals. They like my channel and want to support me and continue doing what I'm doing. So if you guys ever want to get games or anything, please check out their website. And for this video, we're going to give a $50 gift card on their website so you guys can buy whatever games you want to get. Link in the description for the giveaway. All you're going to have to do is have a Twitter and retweet and follow us. I think that's it so that way we can message you if you are the winner and that's it let's get back into the video i'm going to be testing the game escape from tarkov on all four computers recently it had a really big update and it, the game is running so much better but a lot of people were like wow nick if you're getting that performance on your very expensive computer i don't want to get the game meanwhile i've had other people telling me that they're getting better performances than i'm getting on my computer with their cheaper computer so i was like okay i have a range of computers we're gonna try it out we're gonna go through the computer parts in just a second but let me just say that all of them have been up to date drivers and everything thing restarted fresh clean install of escape from tarkov as well anything that i could close like steam skype or anything like that everything was closed it was just the game running i recorded the screen with an external camera because i didn't want anybody to say like oh software's taking away resources so yeah you're gonna see camera footage all of the pcs are gonna be running exactly the same video settings video resolution and they're all gonna be on online servers as opposed to offline servers because if you guys play escape from tarkov and you did any offline raid you'll know that on an offline you get a little bit at least in my experience i get more fps the results will shock you but let's meet the computers i've had all of the computers a cpu z validated so this page is going to be available for all four computers if you guys just want to see what clocks i'm running at if you're interested in the prices i'm gonna have all of these in the description down below now keep in mind these are the prices based off of when i looked it up so i don't know what prices there are when you're gonna be watching this video but my main gaming pc and this is what i have for editing and rendering and stuff like that is estimated at about six thousand dollars there's a couple of stuff because this pc was sponsored through digital storm that digital storm have their own so i don't know how much this thing costs so i just kind of put it at kind of like a, a low reference point based on the other ones uh this is my main pc that i use and it's six thousand dollars pc number two is gonna be my streaming pc this is my old gaming pc that i built like five or six years ago and it's turned out to be now my streaming pc again i'll have the cpu z page for it the same deal with the prices and this pc comes out to four thousand and one hundred and four dollars this streaming pc is dear to my heart because i built it by hand that's that's my baby right there pc number three is the one that i'll be making music and beats on the estimated for it is just under one thousand dollars there are a couple of stuff because this was the msi pc that i did a review on msi has some products that they don't sell to retail these are their own stuff so i just kind of had to estimate based on what similar stuff cost and it's coming down to less than a thousand pc number four is my backup pc in case anything ever happens to my gaming or streaming pc i can just switch it out and continue streaming and editing videos or whatever i need to do if you guys remember this was the msi pc that i built step by step that one comes out to just over 800 dollars. these are the computers and before we put them to a test how about we do a small cpu benchmarking test on cinebench pc number four got 2965 pc number three which arguably has a better cpu got 26 32 my streaming pc with its thousand dollar cpu got 36.69 and finally my main pc with its 
$1,400 CPU got 3874, the highest score by far, but how's all this apply in game? All of the computers are going to have the same settings. I'm going to record all of them with an external camera. That way we have no issues of anybody saying that, hey, Shadow Player or OBS or DX Story or whatever recording software is taking resources from the computer. Number four is averaging somewhere in the high 60s and low 70s in this spot on Shoreline. PC number three is doing even better in the mid 80s and high 70s. My old gaming PC that is now my streaming PC is doing fabulous in the high 90s. And now for the monster PC that wh wh why am I in the low 70s? What's what's going on here? And it better not go. <gasps> it just hit 60s for the second test. We're going to go under the butt of the helicopter and we're going to kind of go right to left on the fourth PC. We're kind of hitting low 60s, high 50s on the third PC, which is got here and doesn't look like we're dipping below 60s. We're kind of in the mid 60s. On the second PC, seems like we are in the mid six, mid to high 60s, even hitting 70 right there. <coughs> this thing better not suck. All right, on PC number one and my workhorse. What? We are below 50s and very low 50s? What is this? PC number four inside the resort. Uh, high 50s, a little bit of 60s. Number three is doing even better with high 60s and low 70s. Number two is rocking it out with high 80s. Oh my goodness. I feel like I know what's about to happen. My crazy expensive PC is hitting low 60s. Okay, so I think the problem is definitely the map. So we're going to switch over to reserve as a scav run. We're kind of hitting in the 50s, a little bit in the 40s. As we get closer to more buildings, we're definitely in the low 50s. On top of this building here, I'll do the test on all of them. We are kind of definitely below 50s, kind of mid 40s to high 40s. Inside the building, things are just about the same, still in the 40s. PC number three is doing about 10 FPS better than PC number four and it's what like a hundred dollars more expensive so it's doing pretty good even close to the buildings and on top of it we're definitely doing a lot better just about the same performance inside as outside i made it to the same pipes that we did the first test on pc number four and yeah i mean fps are definitely increased and oh hey exit over here pc number two and my current favorite is not that much better than pc number three in terms of price i mean we're talking about a thousand dollars and a four thousand dollar pc but definitely improvement in fps i know it's a little hard to tell from this because it's recorded in 23 fps with my digital camera because i was recording the monitor but it definitely feels a lot smoother and i'm still very surprised how well they optimized the game to be same fps inside as outside oh look in this one i make it to the helicopter can we please not go to pc number one because i think i'm gonna feel really bad in just a second come on pc number one show that 1700 dollars cpu oh hey look we're in the 60 no no, we're in the 50s. Let us get close to the buildings and we're we're in the mid 40s. For some of you guys, this might not be exciting or you might be laughing at me, but it's kind of depressing. Let's jump indoors though to see the, the, the FPS are still the same. Factory. We got to do factory because there's not much to render and all of the computers are going to do absolutely amazing. Look at this. Hitting 100 FPS on the cheapest PC, even maxing it out at 120. And for the rest of the map, this was a breeze. I'm expecting PC number three to do even better and we are high 90s oops back to the same spot and instantly just hitting that 120 fps and staying maxed and for the rest of the map just staying mostly over 100 fps number two being the beast so far instantly just goes for that 120 fps and overall no issue smoothest by far even though pc number one's been struggling a little bit you know what on factory it's no problem going over that 100 fps on certain spots not the highest fps but definitely the best performing map on this computer so Far. wanted to go on interchange a little bit because most people say that this is supposed to be the best optimized map and so far on the fourth pc we are doing pretty well in the high 50s doing a lot of 60s and even hitting 70s in some parts of the map if you're looking in the right direction number three has been doing everything number four has but what about 10 fps more and as i was trying to display you guys the map i started getting shot at by this dude but it's all right we'll We'll dispose of it number three has been doing just so great overall for the price number two is the one that's been shocking me because it's pretty much the same parts as in number one only a version older so pc number two should be one step behind number one but it's just doing so well and it's a little frustrating that pc number one is 
kind of doing worse than PC number four, which is a fraction of its price. But, you know, it's it's not the PC's fault. It's the way it's optimized and it's made to run. But yeah, my FPS are definitely lower in this. The last test that I wanted to do is on the map of customs. And you can see that I'm hitting a pretty decent 70 to 90 FPS on the fourth PC. But as soon as I scope in, the FPS pretty much gets almost half. We're, we're down to the low 40s, even a little bit of 30s. And this is a known issue that when you scope in, you have less FPS. But I wanted to see how big of a difference is on all of the PCs. I know of a lot of people that play EFT and don't use any of the scopes because once they scope in, they lose too much FPS. And I wanted to see if it's actually playable, especially after this new patch, it's a lot better. You can see that on PC number three, we're pretty much in the mid to high 40s. And that's doing really well it's very usable probably not gonna be a surprise but pc number two is doing absolutely well if i had these fps on my main pc i would take a scope everywhere because 40 to 50 fps is so smooth and finally the reason i've not been using scopes too much even though i love them is because when i scope in you can see that i i it really dips down I'm, I'm hitting about mid to low 40s now but sometimes it definitely goes into the low 30s the point of this video is not to go like ha 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 your computer sucks so don't say that different games are optimized differently because i can tell you for sure that between pc number two and number one that 1700 dollars versus that 1000 dollars cpu is a difference when i'm rendering a video out of vegas or out of premiere you can see that the benchmark in the cpu the cpu is doing a lot better but a point i was trying to make is that games are optimized differently and i'm sure this is going to be fixed and my main pc will eventually work well but i don't want my computer my performance to be something like oh if if nick has a six thousand dollar pc and he only gets 60 fps if my pc is a thousand dollars i'm gonna get 10 fps because that's not the case at all you can see that even even with the cheapest 800 i would definitely recommend a thousand dollar pc i mean that thing's running really well i was actually very surprised of how, how well it was running the game but yeah i wanted to make this video to just kind of show a little bit of a comparison and to go like yeah if you guys are interested in this game get it because it's running really well it's a really fun game um you don't need a crazy pc to get good performances out of any game i'm guessing now a lot of you guys are probably gonna want to see CSGO on four different PCs. We might have to make that happen. Let me know if you guys want to see that. Thank you all for watching this video. God bless your beautiful, beautiful faces. Links in the description for the sponsors of this video and that bar are absolutely amazing and loving my channel. Other than that, I'll see a bunch of you guys on the live stream or wherever I'll see you guys next. Bye bye.